Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of wholes, parts, and percents. This is standard 6.5b in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 30 of the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got gro crops growing on 29 of 50 acre farm. So we've got this model here. So we need to turn that into a percent. All right, so there's quite a few different ways to solve this here. So first, let's just estimate this, right? So I've got five rows to make it, I'm assuming we got one, two, three, four, five. There's my halfway point, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so we've got 10, All right? So it's a five by 10. Now, take a look at this. I'm drawing this line because this is five columns to the left, five columns to the right. So this is half my shape. If we look at it in one whole chunk right here, that's half a shape. This other section is also half a shape. Well, you notice the shaded part is slightly more than half a shape. And I know that half of something is the same as 50%. So it's gonna be a little bit greater than 50%, right? So look at that, we can go ahead and eliminate B and D because it's a little bit bigger than 50. Now, obviously 58 and 54 are way too close. I'm not just gonna guesstimate on that, but we can eliminate two answers. So really what this is, is this is a fraction, right? Like 29 of 50, right? So I've got 29, and there's 50 total. Um, and the crops are growing on the shaded part. Sometimes they'll give you a tricky problem. They wanna know how much is not shaded, right? So we just need to find the percentage of the shaded part. So we've got a few things we can do here. When in doubt, this isn't the easiest way. I'll show you the easy way in just a moment. When in doubt, you can always divide up. Always, 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 every single fraction that has ever been invented or thought of or dreamed about can always be turned into a decimal by dividing up. It might not be the most efficient, but it always works. So I'll, I'll always like these things that just always work, no matter what. So by dividing up, I mean, let's take our denominator and let's divide it into our numerator, right? That's going to give me a decimal. From a decimal to a percent, it's pretty easy. So 50 does not go into 29. So now I need to add a decimal here. 50 will go into 290, almost six times. So we'll call it five times. That's 25 with a zero. That's 400. Okay, so there's my 400. If I drop a zero from here, drop a zero to here. Five goes into 48 times. All right, so there we go. 0 0.58. Now, how do I turn that decimal into a percent? Okay, because I don't see 0 0.58 or 58 hundredths. Well, you could do a few things here because that 58 hundredths, right, equals the 58 over 100. Well, if you can make it look like in the hundredths, right, whatever your numerator is, it's going to be your percentage. It's going to be 58%. Or you could just move the decimal over twice. Once, twice becomes 58%. Uh, simply because when we're looking at percentages, right? 100% is going to be uh, the whole thing, right? The percent is always out of typically 100% unless you get into decimals. So if you can make the denominator 100, your numerator is going to be a percent. Now that wasn't the quickest way to do it. If you can get this denominator to look like, here's my basic place value, right? You get your tenths, hundredths, or thousandths. These are the three places after the decimal that we really focus on, right? If you could change that denominator into be tens, hundreds, or thousandths, then you're golden. So I'm going to make an equivalent fraction. I see that 50. All I got to do is double it. 50 doubled makes 100, which means that's what I want, one hundredths. So I just need to double the 29. That gets me to 58. And I could write it like this. And then look, I'm back to where I started, 0 0.58. Still need to move the decimal over twice. So 58% is our answer.